Good morning, happy Monday. Welcome to another vlog. Today is February 6th. I sound very congested because I need to stop forgetting to take my allergy medication. But if you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm a PhD student in English at Indiana University. I live in Bloomington, Indiana. Um, and yeah, subscribe, follow along with my life, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok while you're at it. And let's just hop into things. I'm about to go to a 10 a.m. meeting with my advisor. We have weekly meetings because I am TAing a grad seminar that he is teaching. And in these weekly meetings, we also talk about my progress on my dissertation writing or like lack of progress. And we talk about like the class that I'm teaching, the class I'm hoping to teach. Here's Pirelli who just jumped up on my lap. And all sorts of like professional development stuff. And that meeting's in five minutes, so let's get into it. Okay, a couple hours later now, clearly in my car, about to head to campus for the writing center for a writing group that I do from one to four, is, uh, one to four on Mondays. And we just, me and a couple other grad students just like write in solidarity together, all focusing on our dissertation and we set writing goals. And then we check back in and it's a way of like holding ourselves accountable. And I do really like having like this time on Monday where I'm like forced to go to the library and I know I'm gonna be working on my dissertation. Um, because I think if I were just like to tell myself like, oh yeah, I'll do it at home, I would like would find excuses to do other things. So this is good. As I said in my last vlog, this is a way of showing up for myself to do my writing. But I do not feel in the best mood to do some writing. That meeting with my advisor, it wasn't bad. My advisor is always very kind. I have a very good relationship with my advisor. I've gotten comments about like, how do you pick your advisor? That's another story for another time. Um, but like he was just sort of like you've been writing all this time and like this is all you have to show for it and i was like um did you know that like writing is really hard so i need to like work on getting some words down on pages i didn't send him like all my free writing i sent him like stuff that was a little bit more polished but yeah i need to like get some things together for sure so i wish i was in a little bit of a better space mood bodily atmosphere to get this writing done but it's okay it is okay i'm choosing to channel this as like motivation and not anxiety and not like frustration and not sadness so yeah i'm also gonna stop at aldi on the way there and get a little snack for lunch and maybe a little drink okay got my little adult lunchable basically but i can't eat apples i'm like allergic to a lot of fruits if you guys didn't know that and somehow i just ended up at starbucks because it's right next door okay back home now it is about 4 30 and i have to meet with a student on zoom for office hours the only time this semester that really works to hold my office hours is like later in the afternoons so my brain is a little bit dead especially from like that meeting this morning and then three hours of disc writing and i'm like ready to take a nap but i need to do this office hours visit um they have their first like big assignment due tomorrow so I thought I would have some people in office hours. At least I hold them on Zoom so I don't have to like drive to campus or anything. And tonight at 8 p.m. I have a therapy call. So I need to like reserve my energy. I'm very grateful and proud of myself for lesson planning yesterday. So I don't have to mess with any of that today. Okay, so I didn't end up napping because I just was on TikTok forever. And today is probably like the longest day ever and I don't know why. Um, I probably just didn't sleep well, but I really feel like doing, you know, a full shower routine. I feel like I did a lot of self-care stuff this weekend, like physical self-care stuff, like, you know, did my nails, all that, but maybe my body knows that a therapy session might be a little rough tonight, so I want to get ready for that. Um, so I'm going to take off the makeup that I was wearing today do a little face mask really lather up with the lotion for my dry winter skin and just you know 
have myself a nice little hour. indeed very challenging I just put my hair in these two little braids because I really don't feel like doing it in the morning and I didn't blow dry it when it dried today so hopefully this manages to salvage something if not it'll just go up in a claw clip I'm gonna need to sleep in tomorrow that is for sure Happy Tuesday. Here is the very casual teaching fit. Haven't worn these Steve Madden white sneakers in a very long time. Some comfy pants. These are probably my favorite dress pants from Old Navy. They're like the, I think they're called the Stevie. There's just like an elastic waistband. They feel like leggings, but they like look like dress pants. And they're like a little more relaxed too, which is nice, like straight leg. This hand-me-down sweater for my sister from H&M and didn't do my hair, just took out the braids, put a little claw clip back there. And I need to go make myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch because I will be on campus all day until 6 p.m. with probably not time in between to go somewhere to get something. I really wanted to like stop and get like Dunkin' or something because I have like rewards on the way to campus, but time got away from me this morning in my little slow morning routine. Okay, 6.15, leaving class, had to go back because I forgot my charger, and chargers are like a hundred bucks, so if I had to replace that, I would have been really mad, but it's like already dark out and all my friends have left me, because I had to go back. Good morning, happy Wednesday, here with my cup of iced coffee per usual. And I cannot stop thinking about like that Donald Trump meme where he's like, let me tell you, I am in a fantastic mood. And that's how I feel um, because I don't have my social media job. And it's just like really nice to know that I'm like focusing on school and focusing on writing and all that good stuff. So I didn't vlog a whole lot yesterday because I was like teaching or in class all day. And then when I got back, Megan had dinner waiting for me. She made homemade pizza. And then we went to my neighbor's house and we watched The Bachelor with her. And then I came home and like knocked out. So yeah, didn't do much work, but that's okay because Tuesday's really long days. So this morning I'm going to start up on some grading because I have 45 assignments staring me down and that is, a lot of grading to do and then I think this afternoon Megan and I might grocery shop and potentially go to a coffee shop to do some work so I'm going to a conference next week in Chicago it's 4C's conference I've talked about this quite a bit um, and I need to prepare the presentation for that so the way conferences work in English is you submit a proposal of like 250 to like 500 maybe it's like 500 to a thousand words for 4C's actually and we submitted a panel presentation with me and Megan, our friend Joanna, and then another friend, um, Peyton. And we got accepted. So we like when we submitted the proposal, we had like the gist of what we wanted to talk about. But now I actually have to like create the presentation. And it's roughly like 15 to 20 minutes per person speaking. So it's about embodied rhetorics. My section is about teaching vlogging as a form of like embodied writing. So this is very much like my desk work and stuff like that. So it shouldn't be too hard, but it's like a matter of condensing it all into that 15 to 20 minutes. So typically in English, people just write a paper and read a paper, which is like really boring, but I feel like I cannot possibly talk about vlogging and video and embodied writing without like having some type of like dynamic presentation. So I'm gonna try not to read for this conference. Okay, a little while later now, and I am in my car on the way to go grocery shop. I graded a couple of projects, 
and then after I do this grocery shopping, I think Megan and I are gonna go to a restaurant slash coffee shop called Feta. They do like Mediterranean bowls and fruit bowls. And they have really good french fries and they do coffee. They also have like ice cream. As I'm describing this place, I'm like, this is really bizarre, but I promise it's like a really cute little place. So hopefully it won't be like hellish because we tried to go to a coffee shop last weekend um, or two weekends ago, everywhere was just like packed. So I'm hoping that since it's a Wednesday, things will be like calmer. So let's go get some groceries for the week. Okay, tax. We read that our first year of grad school. That is Megan's Bible, truly. Was that the other one we read in that class? Mm -hmm. One of the others, yes. Megan's Bible. I don't know if Megan's ever talked about her research on my channel. Yeah. Now's not the time to start. <laughs> Let us know if you want to hear what she researches. It's rhetoric stuff, but it's really cool stuff. Thank you. Okay, 518, back from Feta. We did some work. We'll talk about what you worked on. You know, on. you know. <laughs> talk about what I worked on. Yeah, what'd you get done? I worked on our, uh, my presentation for our panel at the conference we're going to. And I think I'm on the home stretch. So I might finish it, I can't decide. Slay, you might finish it now. Maybe, I just want it done, but I also really want to make lemon cake or bread or something, so I don't know, we'll see. Well, you know I'm voting for the lemon bread. Um, I also worked on that, and I feel like I got like halfway done with that, and then I, I don't know, lately I haven't been able to write for more than like an hour and a half to two hours. Like the Wits writing group is three hours long, and by the time I hit two hours, I'm just like done. And I can read an article or something, but I can't write anymore. It's just like, it took it all out of me. I'm That's done. a long time though. Three hours, two hours is, a, is a long, two hours is I think a yeah, long time. Yeah, and then to, for them to ask us to write for three, that's a long time. But anyway, it's raining and something about when it rains at this time of day, I just have to get in the shower. So I'm gonna get I in the don't. shower. <laughs> I already showered today and I'll probably shower again in the morning, but I just have to get in there. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> nine o'clock I am going to blow dry my hair although it's already pretty dry and I'm gonna try and get in bed early tonight because I signed up for a yoga class tomorrow morning at 7 15 a.m. I've never done this before but it's a new class I've never seen offered it's called sacred contemplation and it sounds like you're gonna do you're going to do some writing in it and um, I don't know it just sounds really interesting so I was like I can do it I can do this yoga class before I teach. So I'll check back in tomorrow and hopefully I'm not like dragging on the ground. Good morning, happy Thursday. Clearly have some Dunkin' Ice coffee with me that I picked up on the way home after yoga. 
So it's already 10.30. I have done my makeup for teaching. Did a fuller glam look because I had time and I felt like it. Yoga was actually so good this morning. I don't think I can say like with certainty I'm going to commit to waking up that early um, every week for that class, but maybe some weeks. Um, it was really, really good. I wanted to like cry <laughs> when I was leaving because I don't know. Sometimes they just like tell you things that just like heal a part of your heart that you didn't know like was hurting <laughs> as lame as that sounds um and not that like yoga has become like my church or anything like that um and all that stuff is very much complicated um but the teacher asked us to think about like the word vow as just like a gentle practice instead of just like a strict like force and that like struck a chord with some like church trauma for sure um and just talked about like the different practices of yoga and yoga as a state of being and how some people like liken them to the ten commandments but they're not necessarily viewed as commandments they're just like ways of being and a lot of just like i don't know approaches to like living in the world gently and kindly and of just like really strict rules that are all rooted in the negative don't do this thou shalt not do this i don't know it hit i'll say that and i'm ready to go teach okay we're going with a fun outfit today i'm breaking them out these cargo pants i actually got them from an influencer closet sale a couple weekends ago kathleen post she's like my absolute favorite instagram influencer and she's like beautiful in person and so sweet um but yeah these were only ten dollars at her sale but they still have the tag on or they did they were from nasty gal i think they're a little long but I'm wearing them with like heeled boots and I think that's supposed to be the look. I've done quite the research on Pinterest to see how the youth is wearing these and I think the black and brown combo is in with the youth. So if you're Gen Z, if you're younger than 27, which is what I am, don't tell me if I look dumb, but only tell me if I look good, please. Thank you. Okay, back in my car after teaching. The wind is like crazy out there. I'm like, why did I even do my hair yesterday? Um, I'm like exhausted from waking up early and then teaching two sections back to back which were very much like required me to be like 100% on because they were like completely discussion based. Um, but I think that they went really well. I feel like the second section went a little bit better than the first because I sort of I was able to like better anticipate where students had questions and stuff based on where they had questions in the first. And I, I feel like it went well. I feel like they understood the articles themselves and then understood how to use those articles in the ways that they need to for the podcast that they're going to create. So we went over two different articles, both of them about gender and the influencer world. One of them um, called Why Women Are Influencers and Men Are Content Creators. And then the other one talked about um, how women online are more not prone, but that's not the only word that comes to mind to being influencers because of the emotional labor that women are conditioned to doing on a daily basis anyway, and the emotional labor required to be like authentic, um, in addition to like a bunch of other smaller points. And then I had students sort of say, okay, what would the tone of these articles each be? If they were repurposed as a podcast, what would the intro, the outro, the background music, the sound effects sound like? And to give me a quick little couple sentence rationale why so i hope that they got them in the mindset of like here's how i can like set a tone curate a vibe as i've been calling it for a podcast just with music um the second section also did discover my tiktok some of them discovered my youtube and i said keep that quiet <laughs> so i've been exposed it is what it is couple hours later now, washed my face, took a nice warm shower, stopped at Chick-fil-A on the way home for lunch because I was really hungry and I don't know, it just sounded right. Um, and I'm going to get dinner with a friend tonight, but I'm going to try and take a little nap first because we're not meeting until 7. So that's like a solid hour nap. So check back in with you guys then. Okay, awake from the nap. The hair was crazy, so I threw it in a claw clip. Here is the very casual fit, just going to the Allery. 
um, which is like an all vegetarian half vegan place. They have like real cheese and real dairy and stuff, but they don't have meat. And I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here. So if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching these few days of my life. I really enjoyed filming it, really enjoyed filming this last weekend of my life too, which I need to go ahead and edit probably like tomorrow. Um, let me know, as always, what type of content you wanna see. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram, all my other social media accounts. And seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.